This video is all about transportation. Stay tuned to learn the ins and outs of getting around Nicaragua using public transportation and private rental options. There's lots of different modes of transportation you can go and have in Nicaragua. Um, there's one thing called the chicken bus. It's basically like a, like a school bus that um, it's kind of really decorated up really nice or weird. Multiple different colors, lights, uh, almost like a like a Christmas kind of festive bus, we'll call it. Or yeah, they're they're very festive, and every driver decorates theirs differently. And that's their that's their local transportation. So that would be their local bus. So if you're looking for a fun cultural experience, absolutely check out the chicken bus. It's super cheap. Um, but do know that it's usually going to take a little bit longer to get oh, to yeah, your destination. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit of a milk run and it's loud and it's crowded, um, but it's, it's, it's a really fun way to travel. Yeah. Like they will throw bananas on the roof. Uh, they'll throw the baskets on the roof. They'll stop by, unload the ba baskets, the bananas, reload up with something else. Sometimes there's, uh, farm animals on there, like, like a chicken maybe, like all caged up. Yeah, and definitely uh, keep some small change for when you're going on the bus just so that they're, you know, you might get ripped a little bit if you need to exchange a lot of money. Absolutely don't pay until the bus is moving and they're asking everybody else on the bus for money. That is how they do it. Yeah. Also pack uh, quite small. Only have one bag. Uh, if you have a, like a backpack or like... Um, like a hiking backpack. Hiking backpack. So if you have like a hiking backpack, bring that um, and make sure it's all zipped up, locked up. If they're going to throw that on the roof, sometimes they'll throw that on the roof. I'll uh, try to keep it with you, but sometimes it gets really crowded. So. so definitely don't plan to take the chicken bus. If you're arriving with like three suitcases, no. that's going to be a nightmare. Like one person, one bag, you can ride the bus. Yeah. And it's, it's tight quarters. Um, it gets kind of smelly sometimes. It just It's one of the things, you're in Nicaragua. Just absorb it, it's culture, it's the way it is. Uh, just adapt, it's, it's fun. Like, yeah, just, we, we loved it, it was, it was really fun. It's an amazing experience. So another way that you can get around or going to and from the airport is using the local taxis or the airport or um, tourist excursion shuttle services. So there's a couple companies that do shuttles to just a few locations like the airport and a few other main attractions. And then of course there's tons of local taxis that will take you wherever you want to go. And they are very, very affordable. Um, compared to Canada and the US where taking a taxi usually is quite expensive, uh, this is a great way to get around. It usually only costs you a couple of bucks if you're traveling within town. Um, and then of course a little bit more if you're, if you're going a couple of hours away. Yep. So airport shuttle, um, uh, typically coming from the airport to San Miguel de Sur is about $80 for two people. Uh, could be up to 90, depending on the, the driver. And that can be a good stress-free way, especially if it's your first time in Nicaragua and you wanna get to your destination, jump on the shuttle. So when you're uh, traveling around Nicaragua, you definitely don't need to have your own vehicle. There's lots of local transportation, whether it's the bus or using the local taxi system. So if you're not interested in renting a vehicle, pay the money to use a taxi or a shuttle to get to or from the airport. And then getting around after that is, is quite simple as well. Whether you're walking, taking the local buses, taking a taxi, or if you're booking a tourist excursion or an outing, there's always services that will get you where you need to go. And it's, it's quite affordable. That said, you might want to rent a vehicle and we've rented a vehicle a couple of times. Uh, it just gives you that freedom to travel everywhere and anywhere that you like. Um, we would recommend though, if you're renting a vehicle that you get four wheel drive, like yeah. an SUV or a truck. Um, if you get a car, you're probably going to be disappointed in that um, you're not easily going to be able to get to a bunch of beaches and different places like that, which I'm going to guess that that's probably what you want the car for is to travel around. So don't get a car just to take you from Managua to San Juan or Granada uh, to get a vehicle. if want to use it to explore the area just make sure it's four wheel drive yeah i think we paid 400 or 500 dollars uh for 10 days 
I think it was 10 days. And that was, um, I believe that was the, the truck. Yeah, the that Toyota was the truck. Hilux. Helix. Hilux. Uh, if you're not looking to rent a vehicle, don't worry about getting to the beaches. Um, from all of the little towns, there's bus, uh, beach specific shuttles that will go a couple of times a day and drop you off at all the popular beaches. So that's another way that you can get to and from the beach if you don't want to drive. San Juan del Sur is a beach town and a great destination for beach lovers. You can get to multiple beaches within half an hour. These are some of our favorites. Yeah, there's definitely no shortage of transportation at all in that country. Well, and we kind of found too, we like to walk everywhere and, and definitely in San Juan del Sur, you can walk everywhere you need to go. So if you, if you want to get around and maybe you have some injuries or illnesses, walking isn't something that's, that you can do a lot of, um, it's very affordable to take that taxi just for a short distance also. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Like this video and leave us a comment. We love taking public transportation. Tell us a story about your favorite transportation experience.